Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, this is just the introduction of the experience I'm about to share. As you know, I in my channel I share my lifestyle. And in this case we are going to talk about the Canadian healthcare. That don't get me wrong, I love it. But I, in the past few years has been experiencing some issues and I have been impacted but by those issues um, personally. I've also seen other people being impacted, people close to me and friends, co-workers, not family because my family is not in Canada, I'm the only Canadian in my family. So with that said, the introduction is going to be pretty much explaining a few basics of what is happening with healthcare. The first thing is that there is a shortage of physicians. There is a shortage of family doctors. What does that mean? It means that not everyone has access to family doctors and you can spend the whole year trying to find a, pa a family doctor and you are not going to get it. Um, it means that when a family doctor retires, those patients that were taken care of by that family doctor are now orphans, <laughs> to put it that way. Um, and they are either taken by the family doctor that works at the same clinic with the family doctor that retired or they start being walking patients at a walking clinic. You can find cases of 81 year old patients that suddenly don't have a family doctor anymore and they have to either find another family doctor or start walking into clinics to be taken care of. And that's a very crucial age for you to not have personalized health care. So uh, when a doctor graduates, they can choose for the family medicine. However, the percentage of physicians choosing to become family doctors has decreased um, from 38 point something percent to 31.8 percent. It is almost 7 percent that has been decreased. Factors that cause this decrease um, are many, <laughs> many. I'm going to just name a few of them throughout this introduction. And uh, one of them was COVID. When COVID hit, many physicians retired. One physician would have a few thousands of, let's say, 30,000 patients. Um, and when that physician retires, leaves 30,000 patients without a family doctor. And with the amount of physicians that retired, that there were family doctors, now Canada-wide, hundreds of thousands of patients have no family doctor. That is not even including the thousands of patients that already don't have a family doctor. So when a family doctor um, retires, as I mentioned before, sometimes what happens is that the family doctor working at the same clinic, either one or two, maybe only one, will 
take the responsibility of taking those patients under their wing. And when that happens, then now that physician is taking care of the double of what they are humanly possi possible to take. But what does that mean to that physician? Now it means working the double. That is overwhelming and that is burning out physicians, of course, because there is a liability when you are a doctor and taking care of your patients. There is a liability in everything. And the responsibility of making sure that the prognosis and the diagnosis and everything that about that patient is right, um, then it is huge. And in my mind, being a doctor is one of the toughest jobs. It is a 24 hour job. You always have to be ready for in case of any emergencies. And you have to be careful with what you do because a wrong diagnosis can be catastrophic for someone's health. Adding the fact that being a family doctor is not lucrative, that's another reason why more, more and more physicians are choosing to not be a family doctor. What does that mean, not having a family doctor? When you have a family doctor, that person knows everything about your health, everything about you because they know what your lifestyle is like and they understand better everything about you and how you function and why the causes or the reasons why something may be happening to you. And they also tend to, even if they have 50,000 patients under their wing, um, they also take care of their patients by following up with a phone call to make sure that um, the patient is all right. So there are a lot of benefits um, about having a family doctor and not all of us have that benefit anymore. One thing that I'm, I, I, I am going to always say, I haven't been um, disappointed by the doctors I've seen throughout my life in Canada. The disadvantage is that me personally, I haven't um, visited the doctor for a while, even though I have to, because of the experience that you are going to See next. Oops, someone is coming in. Good morning, everyone. Yes, it is the morning. It is ten forty four in the morning. I was supposed to be leaving an hour and a half ago, the latest, because I have to go to the doctor uh, to get my prescription, a new prescription. I have my medicine only available until today. So I have to refill. I was working until 10. Yes, and then I I got ready to go out and do what I have to do. So here's the thing, here in all Canada, even though, even though the um, health system is beautiful, I am not going to complain about that. We have a health system that 
it is amazing is available to everyone you don't have to pay a penny the only thing that you have to pay for is for uh, for example going to the dentist if you need to or uh, to the eye doctor if you need to that is not included in the regular health care so when you work for a company you always want to ask if they have healthcare included, the extension of the healthcare. Um, otherwise, you should ask for that because it's pretty expensive if you don't have that included through work. So, what I was going to say is that, so the, that is the overall about healthcare, how beautiful it is and how available to everyone is. Now, the issue that I have been experiencing, especially me because with work, um, it, I've been moving around Vancouver to the Okanagan, South Okanagan to Central Okanagan, Central Okanagan to North Okanagan and Alberta, BC and so on. So it is difficult to find a family doctor to the point that even if you apply online you don't find a family doctor if you go to a doctor or a clinic a walking clinic because in walking clinics you can find also doctors that may take that actually they take appointments for those um, that already have that doctor as a family doctor right so um, I haven't had a family doctor since 2016. That is the reality. So every time that I need to visit a, doc visit a doctor, uh, either for uh, my prescriptions or for checks or for whatever it is, we're women, we know the things that we need to do and also men but in my case as a woman um, and it's always a walking clinic now going to a walking clinic before was easier than now So, as I was saying, and I'm sorry it is so dark in here, but this parking, it is really dark. I arrived to my destination. <laughs> so, it, as I was explaining, let me move the camera to the tripod, so it is easier for me to explain. Or you can see me now because there is light so as I was explaining um, all this to let you know all that I um, was uh, saying is to explain that as I don't have a family doctor then I have to um, go to work walking clinics and when I go to the walking clinic then I may not even be able to see a doctor because if they already have um, the amount of people that they can take for the day, then you can't see the doctor. They are going to tell you we, we're full. We can't take more people today. And they won't. It happened to me about, was about, what was it? A month ago or two months ago, I went to the walking clinic at 8 in the morning. The walking clinic opened at 8.30. I knew there was going to be a line, so I started making the line. And 
the receptionist opens the door, starts getting people, and suddenly about five or six or ten of us were turned away. And we were asked to, to leave because they didn't have a availability for more people for the day. So that happens a lot. And when that happens, if you have an emergency, if you really need to see the doctor, if there is something that you really need to take care of, um, then you end up going to probably to the um, to the hospital, to the emergency, because there is no other way. And then the hospital is overflown with people walking in because there is no other option. And you are there between four and eight hours to get a doctor to see you and to test you if you need to get tested or anything because there is no other option for you other than that. So that is the, ba the bad part of uh, the healthcare in Canada. And uh, I really, really, really hope it improves because um, yeah. <laughs> So right now I'm going to go to the walking clinic right down this parking um, parking lot and I will see if I'm lucky to see a doctor today. Even if I have to come back later, I don't care. I can come back later, 2 p.m., whatever. Um, but I hope I'm lucky and, uh, and I can see the doctor today. So I just need 10 minutes with the doctor. That's it. <laughs> so let's see. Not surprised. <laughs> they don't have room for more people today. So the receptionist gave me a number to call for another medical clinic. And that's what I'm going to do now. And see if I'm lucky to put my name down in the waiting list for today. Let's hope for the best. Oh. Thank you for calling Hillside Medical Clinic. Our phone lines are open Monday through Friday from 8.45 a.m. to 12 p.m. and from 1.15 p.m. to 4 p.m. For information about becoming a patient at our clinic, please press 1. To book a telephone appointment with a walk-in doctor or with your family doctor using our online booking service, please visit our website at www.evolveallyhealth.ca. In-office appointments can only be booked by speaking with clinic staff. To speak with your doctor's assistant, please press 2. To book a walk-in phone appointment, please press 3. If you are calling from a... Morning, Selena speaking. Hi, good morning. Yeah, so you're all good for a phone call for tomorrow at 9.30. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Take care. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm, so, this was very successful. I was able to get... Um, a doctor to call me tomorrow in the morning inshallah and as I always get up early it's not going to be a problem for me to answer the phone at 9 30 in the morning because I'm always early three hours before that I mean up three hours before that and this is the reason why someone when you don't have the ultra need of um, seeing the doctor, you get lazy and you just don't go to the doctor and let it be. Because it is so difficult for you to see a doctor and you go through, th through the hassle of going and waiting in line to see a doctor and then you are 
uh, just uh, turn away or you arrive there and the door is already closed at 10 in the morning the door is already closed because they don't have the capacity for more patients um, and if you go if you choose to go to the hospital you are between literally four to eight hours a full day you can end up being at the hospital so yes um, it is a t situation is happening throughout Canada and it's my personal opinion that the government has to step up and st start doing something about it because being a family doctor is not easy but if they don't see the benefit of being a family doctor then they are not going to choose for it so they, they I, it is my personal opinion that the government has to do something about it and invest more in health um, to to incentivate uh, good physicians to become family doctors but that's me I'm an ignorant in everything I'm just sharing what I've learned through asking physicians and I've sh I've shared what I've learned um, through my own experience so basically if we solve the issue of physicians coverage then it will be perfect so with that said i hope you take you don't take anything personal if no vlog of mine it will ever ever um, have the intention of offending anyone at all and um, i hope you you believe what i'm saying what i'm saying that i i have no intention in offending anyone I'm sharing my point of view and experience in all my vlogs and um, you can definitely comment down below if you don't agree or if you agree and you can share your experience as well and maybe we're experiencing exactly the same if you like this video if you like this content um, please subscribe like and comment down below and um, share your thoughts <laughs> thank you very much salam alaikum